Point. Tony. Thank you, Tina. Despite the big construction projects in Boracay, the Boracay Foundation says the island is not yet overdeveloped. But it also admits preservation efforts must be done now to protect the island's future. Jackie Pascual reports. The white sand beach in Boracay is visible from the sky, and so are the many buildings and other developments in the island. Up close, Boracay is postcard pretty, but just meters from the beach is this road, filled with cars, shops, hotels, and construction projects. Is Boracay overdeveloped? The Boracay Foundation does not think so, but says efforts must be done to protect and preserve the island. I'm concerned about how uh, to sustain the tourism industry. No? It's a major issue yung marami ng, uh, mga developments, so baka ma According to Boracay's Master Development Plan, 40% of the island is set aside as a forest reserve, while the rest is available for development. But even in that remaining 60%, there must still be open spaces. Salme says many establishments have complied, but some resorts in the past were built in protected areas because of confusing permits from different government agencies. May permit siya galing sa, may, may, kasi last time yung DNR nag-issue ng mga flag tea. Okay. Now which uh, you're allowed to develop the forest land. Hindi sila nabigyan ng, ng uh, building permit ng local government. Mm, uh, but then because of the confusing ng ano, mga authority ng bawat department, nagkakaroon ng uh, problema. Na. There are now many regulations in the island such as a 25 plus 5 rule which means there must be no structures within 30 meters from the high water mark, the zone between the highest and lowest tide mark. Salme urges establishments and tourists to obey island rules. Long white beach is the San Juan Salvis, the treasure of the island. Talaga. So yun ang una -unang protectionan. So ito rin lumabas yung no smoking at the beach area, mga, mga lahat, mga do's and don'ts no, sa area. Uh, kasi yun ang napaka-importante eh. Before, makikita mo puro uh, cigarette box. But actually, during the laborata, nagiging problema din yun. Una-una, dami rin kalat. In 2014, Boracay hit a record high of nearly 1.5 million tourists, majority of them locals, as well as tourists from South Korea and China, and a growing number of visitors from Malaysia and Saudi Arabia. With the renovation being done at the Katiklan Airport, and with plans to build a port that can accommodate luxury cruise ships, there is no stopping the massive influx of people. The Boracay of the North, the Boracay of the South, these are words used to describe the many beautiful beaches in the Philippines, a testament and praise to the unique beauty of Boracay. Now there's another phrase, hope it will not be like Boracay, in reference to the commercialization of the island. Now many are hopeful that emerging tourist destinations in the Philippines will learn from the mistakes and best practices of this so-called paradise on earth. Jackie Pascual, ABS-CBN News.